Good afternoon. It is July 11th, 2013. This is Jason Horak reporting on the ongoing adventures of the Dodge Daytona electric vehicle. What we're looking at here today is air conditioning. Uh, air conditioning in an electric vehicle has always been kind of a, a challenge. Either you have to run a um, belt off with the compressor of the original vehicle or get an electric compressor uh, or some other solution. So what I'm looking at is something that might be a little bit interesting. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but we're going to give it a try. Um, upon doing some research on the subject, I found someone who made an air conditioning setup using an ice chest, some ice, a bilge pump, a heater core, uh, and a fan. So basically they set it up so that uh, the ice created ice water in the, in the chest and then that was circulated through the heater core and allowed it to uh, you know, keep that cool and then when the air fan blew across the heater core it made the uh, water condense on the heater core and you know, actually took the moisture out of the air just like an air conditioner does. Um, so anyway, that was kind of cool. Um, so I figured I would adapt it to my electric vehicle um, just kind of as an experiment to see if this was even a practical thing. Um, so what we've got here is uh, this is the original electric car. Still here, still uh, able to do experiments with. And since the engine compartment is empty at the moment, I'm able to use it for various tests and so forth. And so what I've done is I put in a uh, ice chest. This is actually a styrofoam chest that some things came in that were shipped. Uh, like a, I think someone shipped me ice cream with some dry ice in this container, um, and it arrived still frozen, and uh, it was kind of neat. So I repurposed it for my little experiment here, <laughs> and so as you can see, we've got a bilge pump. This is a, a Walmart bilge pump. I forget it was like 50 bucks, something like that, um, with just a hose uh, adapted. And it actually hooks up into the original evaporator core um, in the car. Uh, so it's all aluminum inside, but out here, this particular, these piping, uh, pipes here are metal, or um, sorry, steel probably. And so they'll rust and be all crusty and so forth. So if I'm going to do this as a permanent solution, I would have to use uh, something better to actually connect the tubes to uh, the heater core. Uh, or, I'm sorry, the evaporator core. But uh, anyway, so that's how it's set up. Uh, kind of a simple little con configuration there. I have a 12 volt battery. This is one of the original Metropolitan Industries 12 volt batteries that were used in the first electric car. And I'm just going to hook up that uh, bilge pump and pump the water through. Uh, this water is a little bit colder than, than ambient, uh, it's just you know, out of the tap. And we'll, we'll see how it does. And then I'm going to add some ice and see how that does. So, yep, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that now. Alrighty then, so just to show you the basic operation of how the pump works, um, again, positive and negative, it's pretty straightforward. Um, so it pumps water up that tube, <laughs> and in, in this case through the lower connection of the uh, evaporator core, all the way through, and then back out. So it's not a whole lot of flow, I mean it's, it's pretty good, it's moving some water, um, and that's, that's all good. So that's the uh, basic operation of that. Um, and just to show you what kind of temperatures we're dealing with here, um, I have a my temperature uh, <laughs> thermometer in there, and I'm not sure if the camera is making this out or not. It's pretty bright out here, but it's 114.1 degrees Fahrenheit and 30.5% relative humidity. In this particular setup, where it's been out here baking in the sun all day, uh, the car has <laughs> basically become a sauna in there, or an oven, so it's, there's not a whole lot of humidity going on um, at this point. But, so what we're going to do is we're going to hook up the pump to get that going. And then I'm, I've got these alligator clips set up to the car so that we're now also running the fan blower um, in the 
car. So I've got it set up, um, again, without opening the door. I'm not sure how well this is going to come out on camera, but we'll try. Um, so I have it set to the cold setting of recirculate, and the uh, fan is on high, and it's set to blow it on the floor. Basically just like you would when you're running your air conditioner. So 114.1 is our baseline. And what we're going to do now is throw in a bag of ice. Um, so I have a bag of ice just for this purpose. <laughs> and uh, we're going to try it without actually opening it. I'm just going to throw the whole bag in there as is for cooling down the water. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and close the hood so that we don't have the sun cooking our ice here in the ice chest. So do that, so at least it's in the shade, um, and then we'll watch and see what happens on this whole temperature deal. 113.9, it already has dropped a tenth of a degree, that's pretty impressive for running just a couple seconds. Um, what's also interesting to note, uh, or they close the hood cleverly, but is that the water temperature um, like that I can feel coming out of here is notably warmer than the water you know, that it's going in. Um, so it is actually doing the whole <laughs> heat transfer, heat pump type thing going on. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and let this run for a while, um, you know, out here cooking in the sun. Relative humidity has dropped to 29.3. I'm not sure if that's just a function of the baking in the sun is more than the air conditioner doing anything, but yeah. So we'll go ahead and let that chug away. 113.8, it is coming down. Um, and I'll be back after, uh, you know, I don't know, give it a half an hour or at least 15 minutes to uh, allow that ice to cool the water more and uh, see what happens. Alrighty, it's been about 15 minutes. Let's go ahead and check on our progress. So we're showing 30.3% relative humidity and 109.1 degrees Fahrenheit. So it has definitely made you know, a significant difference um, as far as cooling the interior of the car. Um, just in, again in the last 15 minutes or so. We're going to go ahead and take a look at our ice, see how that's doing. And so our ice is, uh, wow, melting quite briskly. Um, we still have, you know, quite a bit of ice in the bag, but it's uh, certainly no longer solid, um, you know, as far as the block of ice that was in the bag. And, uh, yeah, so it, the ice is going pretty quick, but it is cooling the interior of the car fairly substantially. So, uh, anyway, we're going to give it another 15 minutes or so. Uh, we are down to 108.5 at this point, and we'll let it keep on chugging and <laughs> see where it goes. Alrighty then, so it has now been a total of 30 minutes since we started this experiment and 15 minutes since the last time I filmed. We are at 103.0 degrees Fahrenheit and 32.4% relative humidity. So the temperature has dropped quite a bit, but the humidity actually went up a little bit. That's kind of odd. Um, anyway, 102.8 is now. It's still, still dropping. And if we have a look at our bag of ice, it's pretty much kicked. There's still a little bit of ice in there, but not much. It's just cold water. Um, so that's fine. That's uh, to be expected at this point. So what we're going to do here is increase the cooling capacity by adding another bag of ice. Um, this time I'm just going to throw the ice in rather than putting it in with the bag. Um, and we'll, we'll see what, what that does for us. Be right back. Okay, there we go. So now we have another bag of ice. I spilled some of it on the ground there. Uh, mis <laughs> miscalculated how much I was going to be adding. Um, but anyway, so there we go. We got a, another full bag of ice just dumped in there as, as actual ice. 
And uh, another thing I wanted to mention about my little test setup here is I pushed the car uh, back a bit. The sun is moving toward the horizon here at the end of the day, and uh, the car was starting to get in a little bit of shade. Um, just shaded by the other car in the house, so I wanted to move it out here so it's fully in the sun and won't actually affect the uh, <laughs> test results by the car being in the shade. Um, so yeah, we're at 102.1, and I'll check back in another 15 minutes or thereabouts. Okay, it's been another 15 minutes or approximately 45 minutes uh, since we started the, this whole experiment. And uh, as you can see, we're at 35.1% relative humidity and 99.0 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so it's definitely come down significantly in the last 45 minutes. <laughs> and uh, let's go ahead and have a look at our ice. So we're, uh, you know, it's melting fairly quickly. We've got very, very little ice left, but it is ice water and it will probably stay cold for a while yet. <laughs> But it seems to be doing the trick. So we're going to go ahead and let it go yet again. Uh, another 15 minutes or so. And see where we end up. We're at 98.8 degrees now. So definitely cooling, <laughs> considering it's in the sun the entire time. Okay, it has now been one hour that the car has been running on this particular test. It is 97. 0 degrees Fahrenheit and 35.5% relative humidity. Um, that's not too shabby. Uh, we've been chugging along. We'll have a look at our ice situation here. So the ice is uh, pretty much gone. Um, it's, it's nice and cold. Uh, there's ice water there, but uh, as far as the ice itself has completely melted at this point. Um, so we're going to let it run for a bit more just as cold water and um, we'll see how long it lasts before things start to heat up. <laughs> Alright, be back in a bit. Okay, we're coming right up on an hour and a half of running this system. So it's at 93.8 degrees and 37.6 percent, I'm sorry, 38.2 percent relative humidity. Um, I'm not sure why the humidity is going up so much. My guess is that perhaps the fan blower being on may be sucking in air um, from outside and thus causing the humidity to rise. Um, anyway, our little bag of ice is completely depleted. There's no ice left anywhere here. Um, the water, however, is still nice and cold. It would be a refreshing beverage at this point. Um, and yeah, so it's just doing its thing. Um, so pretty good proof of concept. Uh, again, it's run for an hour and a half, and uh, <laughs> being out in the sun the entire time, we're down to 93.6 degrees Fahrenheit. So not too shabby. Okay, so we're coming up on two hours now of running this test. The relative humidity in the car is 39.7% and it's 91.3 degrees. Pretty comfortable compared to the 114 that it was to start out with. Um, and uh, again, it has been sitting in the sun the entire time, just baking <laughs> in the cabin. And uh, so, anyway, so this is a, a, the two hour test. So our ice, of course, is completely melted. The water is still reasonably cool. I'd say slightly cooler than tap water at this point now. Um, and so I'm guessing our cooling efficiency is probably going down. Um, it's not exactly hot water yet, but uh, you know we're, we're sort of holding at about 91.3 uh, at this point. And uh, so, but anyway, for two hours worth of driving and. Uh, two bags of ice, that's really not not too bad. Okay, it has now been a total of three hours that we've been running our little homebrew air conditioner. We're at 43.3% relative humidity 
and 87.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Again, we've been outside in the sun, just cooking the entire time. The ice melted quite a while ago, so it's just been circulating the ice water, or cold water. Um, so at this point, the water is, yeah, it's still a little bit chilled, but not, not much. Uh, I would say you know, a little warmer than tap water at this point. But again, for three hours worth of running, um, and again, it brought it down from, uh, what, 114 degrees Fahrenheit uh, down to whatever it is currently. I already forgot. <laughs> yeah, 87.7. So that's not too bad at all. So anyway, that's it for today. I just figured I would give you all the update. I think three hours of driving on a two bags of ice is not so bad. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll do some more experimentation and see what we can come up with. Take care and have a good night.